Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Ian Shulchan Aruch Yomi. Today we learn Simon Gimel, um, one of the prominent halachas in Simon Gimel. Uh, most of the halachas in Simon Gimel have to do with the midah of tzniyas, of being immodest. You're supposed to be a modest person and go to the bathroom privately, not go to the bathroom in a public way. Um, <clears throat> one of the halachas, which is not so related to privacy, it's more related to an iser of commonly the Zerah Levatala, of letting out Zerah, Sheikh of Zerah Levatala, Talach Yedal, Yezar Yishol Yechaz Ba'ama V'yashten, you have to be careful, you're not supposed to hold on to your ama, to your penis, when you're urinating, Imlo Ma'ataro Lamata, what you can do, even if you're not married, you can hold the whole penis, just not the top of it, the crown, because that, that part heats up the most, it's going to, the most likely, quickly to cause you to have Zerah come out Levatala, seeming to come out for no reason, uh, if you're married, you can touch the whole penis. Higher level, the means of Chasidim. I had this joke before. Vision of Chasidim. Any Chasidim. No, it means people on a higher level, even if you're married, to be careful about these things. The Gemara says, it need, it's all coming from Gemara Nida. Now, you're allowed to hold on to the sack. Anyone's allowed to hold the sack. And even if you're not married, you're allowed to hold on to most of the penis just on the top of it. Um, and then in Hakatet you can't scratch the area. Um, only, the only head there is to do it when you're going to the bathroom. Now, the reason of, of this Gemara is based on a Gemara and Nida Dafyut Gemara, where the Gemara says that um, a man who uh, brings his hand uh, to his penis. For no reason, he is um, he's maybe mabul the olam. It's like Gemara in Shabbos, Gemara in Nida. He brings a mabul to the olam because one of the sins that uh, the Bnei Dora mabul did was that they let out Zera Levatala. So you're going to bring Zera Levatala out over here also um, if you're doing these things. And that's the, the reason for the Isser. Um, then the Gemara says also, the Gemara has a different halach on Yud Gimel Mabez and Nida, where it says, a Makasha Atmo Das Yehebe Nida. Someone who um, try Makasha Atmo Das for the pleasure, he wants to touch his Aver, so it feels good. Everyone knows it feels good if you touch your penis and you rub it. So even if you don't come with the Israel of Atala, um, you should be Nida. Why the Gemara says, why in Nida over there? The Gemara says, you should be in Nida. That communication It's even stronger than Asr. Of course it's Asr. It's Asr to do it. But uh, nidoi because you're you're engaging the Yitzhahara, the Yitzhahara, you're you're playing into the hands of the Yitzhahara. The Yitzhahara says, okay, do this a little bit today, and then tomorrow you do have Zara. So the question over here is, this really is a gzera, really. There's no iser in the Torah. Uh, touch. Uh, it says in the Delash of the Mishnah and Nida is that it says yad yad a person a man touches his his, his aver he cuts it it should be cut off his hand like the gemara says nidoy um is it really an isher actually over here is it really an isher to touch even when you go into the bathroom right if you're not married you don't have to touch the corona you don't have to touch the top part uh, because it's going to be with his let's say zara didn't come out right let's say zara didn't come out were you over any isher so is this like zara there are over here uh, is this the Chum said it's a Zer the Rabbanan? It's really Asr Mid Rabbanan because you might come with the Zer of Atala? Or is really maybe there's no Isr? Um, only if you come with Atala. And the Shulchan Aruch is saying, um, right? Well, the Gemara says, uh, you may be Mabola Olam if you touch that part. Um, you bring, you bring, you cause a Mabol to the Olam, but again, Dara Mabol. Daramabal actually let out Zara Levatala. So what is it? Is it Xer Darabanan or is it just uh, an Haga uh, Tova that you should do, a good Aitza, a good advice, or is it really an Isser of touching it if the Zara doesn't come out when you're going to the bathroom? When you're not going to the bathroom, the Gemara says it's Asr. The Gemara says it's Asr because you're playing in the hands of the Aitza Hara. Um, I would say like this that when, you, when you're not, when you're not, when you're doing it just for enjoyment, so then there's a greater chance Al Pirov, a lot of times, is going to come with the Azrael of Atala. So therefore, Chazal made an Isr der Abbanan. When you're going to the bathroom, though, I would say that it's not really an Isr der Abbanan, it's just an Haga Tova. Again, because generally when you're going to the bathroom, you're focusing on going to the bathroom, you're not focusing on enjoying yourself. So you're not going to come um, at that moment, you're not going to come. To let out Zerah Levatola, you're not going to come to let out Zerah Levatola. Chazal, 
Uh, that's why the Lashon, uh, uh, the Gemara says, Yikatsi, it's your hand should be cut off. It's not saying that it's, it's really just a recommendation. You shouldn't touch it um, because you might come with Israel Levatala because it's not, the Gemara says that there are two, there are two Allahs, Makasha, Asma, and he's doing it for pleasure. Then he goes into Nidor, then it's Asr. But if he's not doing it for pleasure, just doing it to help him direct the urine in the right direction, I would think it's not even Asr Medina. It's just a good recommendation. Go to Eitzah, ask your rabbi, tell him what you think. See you tomorrow. Bye.